generation, baby. Welcome to Generation Gab. My name is John Lear, and I'm a Gen X fun dad. My name's Chase O'Donnell, and I'm a semi-recent grad. That would be a millennial. A millennial, that's right. And uh, welcome to the show. We talk about the similarities and differences between Gen X and Millennials. And all generations. And all generations. We've expanded out. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, As per usual, we are coming to you live on Facebook Live. Whenever we record, we do it Facebook Live. Do you think that's diluting our product, Chase? Perhaps. Yeah, I do too. But you know what? Who cares? <laughs> I, we love our Facebook Live crowd. YOLO. Yeah. Do you, you know that phrase? No. That's... That's a millennial thing. That's a generation. I feel like I've heard that. YOLO was the most popular phrase when I was like 20. And do you know, do you want to guess what it stands for? YOLO. You are losing a, 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 Oreos. <laughs> no. That would be YOLO. Oh, you, um, you, you or is right. Lisa originate. That, that the, wouldn't make that sense. You guys so wouldn't pick up on that. Off. Yeah, you guys would not pick up on it. I mean, why would you say that? We you, wouldn't say that. You wouldn't. That. Lisa also, yeah, there's that, no one in my generation named Lisa. God, that's true. I And Jennifer, my Alyssa, wife's... Lisa, yes, but no, no Lisa's. No, Elisa. No, Lisa. No, Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, Jennifer, John, Mark, Steve. These are Gen X names. But Steve, yes. John is us. There's still a lot of Johns. In Why there. is that? It's the most boring, worst first name ever. Why? It just seems lazy to name your kid John. John just, uh, you know, it, it goes through all generations. It doesn't have a. I mean, I get the New Testament of it all, but she. I mean, Actually, seriously, I can't. I can't imagine a baby right now named John. John. I don't think it's the so new lazy. Parent. It's basically sending a message to your kid. The message I got was, "You will not be important." <laughs> You are going to be milk toast and boring, and that's why you're named John. What about Jonathan? You know, you're Jewish, and you're going to be boring. <laughs> you know, it's it's like you know, it's just I. Sometimes people call me Johnny, and it, I was, you, yeah, do you like that? I, I, do you think I'm a Johnny? No, I, I don't. Maybe when you were like five. No. When you're a kid, you're a Johnny. Nobody, every now and then, but you know, there are a couple people in my life who call me Johnny and I like it, but, but, okay. but the, I don't like it as a thing. I just like it when they call it's me It's like that. when people call me Chasey. It's Ch- like. Chasey? Only a few people would call me That's that. terrible. I don't like Chasey. <laughs> How about Chase Master? No. What should I call you? Ch- How about if I just call you Ch? No. Or, all right. Ch- I get Chasey. Chase Bank. Ch- uh, Chase Bank, that's always people good. People often think Chase is short for chastity. Mm. I go, please. Mm. It's not. It's just Chase. Well, you're not loose and, and easy. You're closer to chastity than you are to, you know. No, I uh, thought chastity uh, was a stripper name. Oh, I, I was I was taking the literal chastity where you withhold your, oh. your, your virginity. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you never... Um, you never properly guessed what YOLO means. And just to YOLO. tie back, it means... I always thought it meant that was like a Latino gang thing. YOLO. YOLO, brother. <laughs> you know, like, what does it mean? I don't know. You only live once. Oh! And you say YOLO after, like, you know, like... YOLO! I don't care if we Facebook Live and post this on a podcast. YOLO! YOLO! I love YOLO. That's my, sort of my life. I live, I lived the first... I lived my 20s. Under the auspices of YOLO. Mm-hmm. Because I did everything as if I didn't care. And, I mean, uh, you yeah. know, when you're huffing oven cleaner, that's YOLO, man. YOLO. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, instead of the saying, uh, be safe, not sorry, it's like, no, YOLO. Yeah. That's the... Well, I love that. Let's make that our motto. Okay. Let's it's make... gone out. It's not as popular anymore. It was really popular like six, seven years ago. Here's the problem with YOLO though, Chase. Tell me, John. When you turn 50, it catches up with you. <laughs> You're like, oh shit. Yeah, you only live once, but it's a long ass life and maybe I should have put more in the 401k. Right, and that's what people, Yeah, I think why... I think people started realizing yeah, you only live once, so yeah, maybe you should eat healthy and not yeah, eat pizza. Yeah. Instead of like maybe you shouldn't have done all huffing all that oven yeah, cleaner. Because YOLO. So yeah. take care of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. YOLO B YOLO B, B 
L L L I L. YOLO B L I. But life is long. Life is a lot long. Everybody says life is short. No, life is long. <laughs> it goes on and on and on. They say life is the longest thing you'll ever do. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, we should put that on a T-shirt. Okay. Speaking of, <laughs> let, what, let, should we talk about our sponsor? Oh, we should. Yeah. And also, really fast, why don't we make a T-shirt that says YOLO L I L? YOLO L I L. Oh my God, Chase, okay, that's a great came idea. Up with it, but I love that. Okay. Anyways, we have a sponsor, as you know. Um, it's abgearguide.com. We and endorse we, them. We endorse them. It's a. Uh, Turning anything analog into digital, photos, videos, whatever you need that is, you know, from the 90s or before turned into... Which I have a ton of stuff. This I've, I've got a whole box in my attic filled with photos. And I was going through there and I found a picture of an ex-girlfriend who sent me a picture of herself in lingerie. <laughs> John, what is that doing? It just got house? in there. It's not like something I look at, but I saw it and I was like, whoa. So you definitely want to switch that over. What should I do with that? Should I throw it? I feel like I should throw it away, but then I'm like, really? But maybe my kids can see that I, you know, was cool. uh, that mommy wasn't the only person dad dated. No, your kids don't want to see that. I don't know. My brother and I found my dad's porn. When my dad yeah. died, we went. It, did oh. we talk about that? Yeah. Well, and you said you would go home. You were a latchkey kid, so you. Yeah. Were. No, no, there's my dad had Playboys. That was such a weird thing in the oh. 70s and 80s that married men were allowed to subscribe to Playboy as yeah. if it was literature or something. Yeah. I mean, it's just the craziest as thing. If it was the New Yorker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um anywho, my my dad when we cleaned up his apartment after he died, we found a little file folder unlabeled that had poor a uh, couple of pictures of porn. Did I tell you this already? No. And it was the girl, and the porn was, it was just a Playboy photograph because, you know, he didn't have porn, porn. You know, yeah. you had to have, you know, like 16 millimeter projectors to oh, right. look at porn. He just had one picture of, um, okay, she was, you're going to have to help me with this. She was on, um, you take the good, you take the bad, you meant to, da, 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 the facts of life. Betty the, Ross. No, Wait. The Facts of Life was a TV show, but no. it's not that one. Betsy Ross it, is the woman that made the flag, but I'm talking about... No! <laughs> what? I meant Betty... Betty White. Betty White. Betty White. White. No, 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 oh, no, 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 okay. no. Betty White wasn't on this. She this was, was and Cross. This was on the one. What's up? What you talking about, Willis? Yeah. What's I that mean, show? I you're asking the wrong person. Yeah. I, I need another... What you talking about, Willis? It was about two black kids who were adopted by a rich white dude. And he had a, a daughter already, Dana Plato. That was her uh, name. Okay. And then later in life, after her career died, she did uh, – she had problems with drugs. And she also did a a Playboy spread. Wow. Um, and, and, you know, maybe I shouldn't say spread. You know, maybe a Playboy photo shoot. Uh-huh. You know, it's just it – just, it's very prurient. <laughs> Anywho – my dad had one picture that he carefully clipped out of a Playboy in a file folder that he masturbated to. Oh, I don't know if I like that. And the show's called Different Strokes. Different Strokes! Thank you. Sorry about that. Posted. What you talking about, Willis? I think that means, I mean, what? Did you enjoy finding that? Well, here's the thing. A couple of things. Number one, my dad had a phone call with my brother. Uh, before he died, my brother called to tell him, he was going to tell him that I'm getting divorced. And my dad said, b b he said, dad, I have something to tell you. And my dad said, we, before you do, I have something to tell you. And he explained that he recently had his scrotum tucked Oh no! because every time he sat down to go to the bathroom, his scrotum dipped into the toilet water. He said, before you tell me something, I have to tell you this. And, it's and then my dad tells him that. So first of all, I'm thinking, oh my God, I should have worn tidy whities my whole life, not boxers. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are, if you're young and you're boxing it up, switch to tighter boxers because gravity takes hold, man. And pretty soon you're going to sit down to take a, a poop and your scrotum's going to be in the water, which is just... I feel like that's appropriate to this show because I need to inform people what's coming their way. Trust me, you've talked about this, and I know because this does these these images don't leave some. You're right. Brain. Okay, I thought I had. Yeah. So Rolo, thought. Rolo, Pedro, Yolo, El, Yolo, Yolo <laughs> B L I L I L A. 
Sorry, that's my wife texting me. Uh, YOLO, what L-I-L. is it? L-I-L. Uh, YOLO B-L-I-L. Yeah, YOLO B-L-I-L, life is long. So the reason I bring that yes, story so up is because when up? I saw his porn, of course, the first thing I thought is like, wow, my dad masturbates to this. And then I thought about his long scrotum, and that freaked me out. So that was that was image one. Ooh. Image two, though, or the thing that I went to right after that was my brother and I kind of looked at each other and we were like, all right, that's all right. You know what? Everybody masturbates, even your father, and he's gone now, and you know what? His secret's safe with us, although it's not because I now it's on a podcast. It's out in in public. Wow. Yeah. So okay, that was so, and, and let me just say, that's the reason you brought up that story, and we're just gonna tie it all together by saying that's why you should go to avgearguide.com. Yeah, get your dad's porn digitized. And you can get five percent off by using the um, our podcast generation gab yeah type it in out. the yeah when you check out type it in our podcast yeah um so. so isn't that fun isn't that fun how we got there <laughs> anyway i think that maybe you sh- um you should get rid of the lingerie photo you do yeah okay actually i don't know i don't either it's like a part of my youth like I, it's not like i'm gonna masturbate to it it's yeah. not like i'm gonna even get it out of that box again but i do i don't know it's like a piece of my youth i i remember it it's not like it's a sexualized thing for me it's more like oh my god i remember dating this person yeah, and she memory. sent me this and and it's not like anything all that and i don't know though i i should just ask my wife she'll tell me what to do she'll she won't care you. she won't no i don't think she will no she i guarantee you she won't <laughs> she'll be like whatever why are you even bothering me with this um, so, John, we have a couple things to go over on this episode. Yes, we do. You have an article. Yes, I do. I have a game. Yes. And we also have our, we're still setting up our Patreon page. We're, we're having some difficulties, everybody, technical difficulties. Yeah. But, but, but we will have that up. And when it's up, if you donate a dollar a month, you will receive a sticker and that's it. And a thank you online on air, right? And a big thank you. Yeah. So, that, but, but but and that money, by the way, that money is going to be used. Oh yeah. To uh, um, get us a, a better set, to yes. get a tripod, to you know, yeah, to make go- your uh, uh, listening. experience better. Yes. Yeah. We're not putting that money in our pocket. No. All those thousands of dollars. <laughs> All right, so here, should we start, what do you want to do first? Let's start with yours. Okay, so I, as you guys know, get uh, articles. BuzzFeed is a ridiculous thing. BuzzFeed is Mm -hmm. so dumb. Mm -hmm. I know they have a news Mm -hmm. department that breaks some news, but god damn. But you know, anybody could submit to BuzzFeed. (sighs) Yes. I could. And and then they'll just publish it. Yeah. Okay, so this one comes from Dave Stopera. He's on the BuzzFeed staff. It was posted January 28th, okay. 2020. Right. And the title is Attention Old People. Oh. The, and then it has the laughing, crying face emoji. Yeah. That emoji does not mean what you think it does. What? Okay, so that's the LOL emoji, right? When you type LOL, L, does it, is that when you get the smiling emoji crying? You know, I actually don't know. And I think because... I don't really type LOL that much anymore. I will just go straight to emojis. Oh, I type LOL. And then sometimes it converts it and sometimes yeah, it don't, yeah. doesn't. That's a sign of our age difference. Kind of. I, I do LOL because I just want people to know I'm joking because my wife has made it clear that it doesn't come across. <laughs> so I need to tell people. You know, my mom, who's a baby boomer, her generation LOL meant lots of love. And it took them a while to... Yes. Well, that comes from... I mean, for the Generation X, which I represent... You know, we did notes in school, yeah. literal pieces yeah. of paper that I've talked about. Yeah. And you would write things like WBS, which means, do you remember? Write back soon. Uh-huh. And SSS. Sorry, so sloppy. Yes. I remember. We yes. talked about this. So, okay. So, number one, you shouldn't use that, what, what should I call that? The LOL, the, the laughing face emoji. Laughy face emoji. With tears. With tears. That's a lot. I have to say that? <laughs> laughy face with emoji with tears? Yeah. Okay. okay. So you shouldn't use that Why? when you're talking about when it when talking about mom's dog. So here's mom. She wrote, "Oh, my dog is dead 
And then she has the laughing face crying emoji because she thinks that means tear. Crying. She's crying. <laughs> and then the kid, her son wrote back, why the fuck are you laughing about it? <laughs> but she's confused because it's tears. She sees the tears. They, what? Honestly, they can't, they can't see that well. They can't see that well. They really have to zoom in. Listen, I don't know. I mean, I'm just like, really? Do you need to comment on her emoji? Who cares? Isn't it more important that her dog is dead? Well, I would be like, that's not funny and that's inappropriate that you're laughing. See, I would go to wait. The dog is dead. I would. I would go to the emo. The the information first, not the way it was presented. I feel like you guys are too caught up in the emoji. Forget the emoji. The dog is dead. Yeah, but what if the the kid probably thought the mom was joking if she, there's a laughy face? Okay. Like LOL. I'm but joking. he, I don't think so because he texts back. Why the fuck are you laughing about it? First of all, you don't say fuck to your mom. No, but I, he's he's upset. He's he didn't know how to take it out. You know what? Let's just call. Just call. I'm on the kid's side. I think you're on the mom's side. I'm on the mom's side. She, the important thing is the dog is dead, not that she used the wrong emoji. <laughs> right? I find this so funny. Okay. Okay. Number two, or when you're talking about violence. Uh, so somebody put, pray for all victims of senseless violence, but the emoji is the laughing emoji. Look, look yeah, how I this see. is done. How yeah. is that done? How do you even make that? She made a, a... That's like a Facebook post with she a background. Made, how did she pick that background? I don't know. So somehow this person picked, said, pray for all victims of senseless violence, which, by the way, of course, do we need to post that? Does she think that it's crying and yes. hysteric because they have It's senseless. senseless and it, but I don't... She just thinks they're crying. See, here's the thing, too, with this emoji. The mouth is open, but it could be an opening of like, ah, you know how when you cry? <laughs> it could be really distraught. Yeah, I think she thinks, and the eyes are closed, so it's like, ah, really upset. Brandon on Facebook Live says, we have the technology. We can make their eyes stronger, faster, clearer. Yeah, we but can. I also think, why would you post for pray for all victims of senseless violence? That, to me, seems like, that's senseless. That's senseless. That was, I was just going to say. I mean, of all victims of senseless violence throughout the history of mankind, listen, I, I'm not going to pray for that. I'm not going to pray for that. I'm focused on Chase's career. I'm praying for that. <laughs> With a laughy face. With a laughy face. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're talking about your foot. We're talking about your foot. So it says, heard you broke your foot, and then it has the emoji, the tear laughing emoji. See you soon, love grandma. So it's like she's laughing that he broke his foot. I just feel like this is all you guys have to do is to take screenshots of your grandmother screwing up an emoji and then posting it on BuzzFeed. Well, it's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. I heard you broke your foot. LOL. <laughs> wow. You're stupid. Like it just like totally changes the okay. meaning of what she wanted. See, I'm more bothered by the lack of pronu uh, 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 I don't think a gr this is real. She didn't put a period. She didn't put a comma. A gra there's no period after see you soon. There's no comma after love. I think a grandmother would have done that. I also wonder, is a grandmother... This is fake. This is fake news, I think. I think you can make fake stuff. And yeah, this it, is yeah. all fake. All right, now we have number four. You shouldn't use it when talking about old Uncle T. By the way, uh, Dave Stopera, BuzzFeed staff, this is all you got to lead into these things? He just took screenshots of texts, and, and he doesn't even no make effort. any sense out it's of not it. not even putting effort. Look, look, try to cut through the noise. All right, it says R.I.P. Uncle Tony, and then it has the thank you. That's the praying. The pr Oh, I thought that meant thank you. You're, uh, thank you. Because uh, when you type in thank you, it makes that praying hand thing. Oh, I, I'll i do that on like gratitude. So that's kind of thank you. I don't like the praying But this thing. is like, I'm praying for you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, it says R.I.P. Uncle Tony, prayer hand, prayer hand. Then laughy, crying face, times three, and then a heart, and then it says loved him. How do you read that, Chase? Is, how does a millennial that read that? That was a mistake. That person was trying to... But, but Right, it is a mistake, but what would you? what is the literal reading of that is what I'm saying. R.I.P. Uncle Tony. <laughs> loved him. <laughs> <laughs> really? 
Oh my god. I don't know. I feel bad for that guy. He yeah, was... people are just screwing up. Yeah. Um, all right. This is all this guy can come up to. Number five, when talking about bingo. Okay, it says, My aunt thinks the emoticon of the crying laughy face is just a crying face, and she made a status about her dog. And here it is. Our precious bingo had five cancerous tumors removed today, and then it has the laughing crying face. I mean, that's pretty funny. <laughs> but here's the thing I go to. The the person who posted it, first of all, you're making fun, you're publicly making fun of your grandma, right? Who's who just found out her dog Bingo had five cancerous tumors removed. Well, she had five removed today, isn't that good? That is They're good, true. Out. But here's the thing that the Higginator and that at Higginator, this is the person who posted his grandmother's thing. He did it all in caps. Isn't that a big wrong? He yeah. put, my aunt thinks the emoticon of the crying laughing face is just crying face, and she made a status about her dog, and Yeah, I mean, Higginator is a bully. Higginator is gross. <laughs> <He's> a bully. <laughs> but that's pretty funny. Our precious bingo had five cancerous tumors removed today. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're it's all... just fun. I think they're all kind of that. They're all about like... It's funny. You're finding them humorous. Like you're finding this interesting. I find it very funny. And I keep going to the person who's making fun of the person for screwing it up. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? That is. What do you think that says about our... I, you're harder. You're, you're like... I think I have a better sense of humor. You have a better me. sense of humor, and you don't hang on to things. Just kidding. It's like, John, it's just a... No, I think you're right. No. <laughs> I go to... I feel badly for the person. No, trust me. I'm I'm a very sympathetic person. I don't know why I think these are so funny. Here's somebody who put, My mom thinks the, this emoji is hysterically crying instead of laughing, I am. Did Robin Williams really die? What does laughing I am mean? Laughing. I don't know. Maybe mm, it's They a, screwed that yeah. up. Shouldn't we be making fun of that? Yeah. This person was making fun of their mom's uh, hysterical emoji and put the words I am at the end. Yeah. Instant message. Oh. Uh, oh. I laughing. Know. Okay. But here's the thing. She, The grandma wrote, or the mom wrote, did Robin Williams really die? And then she put laughing crying face. But of course, he's la we should be laughing. He spent his whole life making us laugh. So you do a laughing crying. Yeah, face. yeah, maybe that's what she meant. But I think she just messed up. All right. Anyway, okay. so that's all I got. Okay, that what was a fun uh, article. Really? I just laughed a lot. God, it's so funny how tickled you millennials get over us screwing up emojis. I mean, it just seems like really? Don't you get exhausted by us screwing up emojis? You know, I don't... It never gets not funny. I haven't read an article like that in a long time. Uh-huh. So that, that really tickled me. <laughs> <laughs> I do smiley faces a lot. Yeah. To let people know I'm making a joke. You know, I use emojis all the time. Yes, I know. Do I do them to you? Occasionally, yeah. I'll do... My, you do a dancing My go-to is the dancer. I love that. Because that just means like... Hey, fun. Unra like, we're going to have fun. Yeah. And then um, I'll do the smiley one, like the excited, like... Ha! <gasps> yeah! And then I'll do the hearts. And those are my go-to emojis. I use them all the time. How do you get to them? How do you access them quickly? Oh, John. Um, there's a... <laughs> There's just a little button on your keyboard that instead of like numbers or letters, I mean, you just click it and it switches to an emoji. Keyboard. I know that, but how do you ask, how do you scroll through and get to the ones you like all the time? Because the ones you use all the time are always on the first page. What? Yes. Yeah, so oh just my right God. There. So if I use them more and more, they're always going to come up to the front. Right there. And if you recently used them, they're right there. Oh my God. Of course they are. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, not today, because I know you have a game to play, so let's play that, but... I think in the future, maybe we should do a, an episode or a segment on you doing a makeover for me. The way, because you communicate with me, we communicate online. And so maybe we should do a makeover like, hey, John, you're using too many of this, or you should. That's fantastic. Do, what do you think? Like, give well, an example. What's one thing you would have me do differently? Because you text with me, you know, well, I call you a lot. Well, like today, why don't we use this one? John said, I'm on my way. I'll be there at 1024. Yes. And we we started laughing about that when you got yes. here because that was so specific. But it turns out... 
<laughs> it turns out your phone automatically texted. Yeah, my phone came up and said, do you want to tell T Chase you're going to be there at, at 1024? I, that's, see, you're more advanced. And I clicked yes. Me. Why would I say no to that? Of course well, I want to tell Chase, give her information. Than what I do. So that was pretty impressive. You were impressed by that. But I wasn't impressed until you told me your phone just did that. Yeah. I just thought you were letting me know you were going to be no. early. But there's also a thing now that your phone can do that says like, hey, sorry, I can't text back right now. I'm driving. I know. People do that. That annoys me. It just started. I just started getting those texts. I hate that shit. Really? You know what? Just accept my text and answer me when you can. Don't tell me what you're doing. <laughs> don't tell me why you're not answering right away. I don't care. I don't want to text back from you telling me why you're not texting me. Oh, uh, I see. And I, I appreciate it. See, I don't. I'm like, and you know what? When you're at a stoplight, you could reply anyway. So don't give me that shit. Yeah. You know what? But Just good for them. No. No, not good for them. Good for I don't them. need to know that. You know. Text me while you're driving. You can do it. You can do it. Just put it on your lap. Put it low so you don't get caught. But, you know, I got a ticket for texting. <gasps> what? Did you get out of it? No, I'm still paying the ticket off. You should have cried. Did you cry? I bawled. Fuck. I couldn't even breathe. I thought when women cry, they don't get... I'm surprised at that. And the police that. officer was like... Was it a woman? No. He was oh. like, let's not make this ruin your day. And I was... <laughs> oh my I, God. I was turning into my mom's um, apartment building and there's like a parking lot. Yeah. So I was at the red light right before you turned Oh, in. and you're texting at a red light? I was pretty much there. I just was, I was literally texting my mom saying, pulling in. And I was at a red light about to turn. Oh, then, Jesus. What a jerk. I know. Santa then, Monica cop, right? Yeah. They got nothing to do because everybody's parked, like so rich. And the policeman, after I was parked getting out of the car, came up to what me. What a douche. And I bawled. Uh, and I'm still paying off the ticket. Oh, that's wrong. So all I'm saying is I think it's good. Maybe they are. They're getting out of tickets. Just don't answer your text okay, until you get to a place. And then answer. Don't tell me what you're doing. I don't want to know what, that you're driving and you're not answering text. <laughs> I don't want to know. Unless it's you, Chase. And then I forgive all. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Or well, my kids. Or, I feel like you know, if I set I something like that up, it'll make it so I'm less inclined to text while Yes. I'm well, I've set up my do not disturb where nothing disturbs me. <sighs> so I'll turn on do not disturb and forget to turn it off. And then I'll be like, oh, oh shit. Yeah, that's I'm in trouble my daughter texted me three times but you know what it's always for money and the, <laughs> that's all she wants the to only me. time that uh that i'm on do not disturb yeah that's when people message me non-stop and it's like right. oh that's when i didn't have my phone that's why you got to start dating now chase because you're not into dating the next guy you're gonna date is gonna be a good dude because you don't want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it's the what same you're way. Saying. You know what I mean? Anytime yeah, yeah. you don't want things, that's when they come. That's when it happens. But the secret says the opposite. It says you got to think about the things you want, and then they come. Yeah. But I don't think either are true. I think stuff's just random, and it's you know sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. I believe. Um, I believe the not thinking about it mm. is actually you're using the secret without knowing because you're not like obsessing over it mm. you're like actually living mm. and you're happy and this and that and that's when you do attract things i think all of that thinking that you're doing mm -hmm. is meaningless <laughs> but in that time the universe is grinding and those things will come if they're meant to come okay okay but your life's gonna be good i have a really good feeling about you and i'm never intuitive you're oh, gonna have really? a great great life chase oh thank you not me not yes, me. You. No, no. You already have a great life. Yes, I've had a great life, but the last half is not going to be pretty. It's just not going to be pretty because I lived life. What is it I did? You YOLO'd. I YOLO'd. I shouldn't have YOLO'd. I should have put money in the bank. Well, I haven't. I mean, money's not the biggest issue, but I should have taken better care of myself. I think that you are taking great care of yourself. I should have flossed more. Oh, God. I don't even floss. Yeah, floss. Everybody start flossing. The dentist or me every time, and I you got to do it, I Chase. Have no time. For I'm going to make you floss after every podcast. Okay, <laughs> who has the time? You just do it. I do it every morning. That's really good. Or night? No, I do it in the morning. I do it in the morning. Wow. I brush. You have time in the morning. It doesn't take long. Once you do it, you can do it. I it's can't not that hard. It. Let's just all you know. 
Sorry. Sorry, more texting. All right. John's so popular. People are wondering what the hell I'm doing. All uh, right, let's play the game. You should have had a response that said, I'm doing a <laughs> podcast right now and stop texting. <laughs> I don't want it. I just, my message should be, do you really need to be texting me right now? That should be to everybody. Like what is it? And why aren't you just sending me an email that I can download later? <laughs> download. Because I like to know, I forget texting. Yeah. I, do you really, what are you texting me about? That's what my mind should say. Yeah. I'm going to make a custom one. Honestly, is this text necessary? My my response back to everything should just be no. Yeah. And I should have an automatic no. I love the tap back because I just do a thumbs up to almost oh, everything. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I, was, mm -hmm. I was hoping they st can start that with emails. Yes. So I, so thumbs up. I've seen it, but yeah. I'm be like, great, okay, XOXO or best of all. Oh, I like me an email. I love to sit down with coffee and email people. Oh. All okay, right. Well, really quickly, I guess we'll just do this one. I'm All we're going to do is say... You know <laughs> when you're a millennial when blank and okay. you're gonna go, you know You know when you're a Gen X when Okay, so I start? Sure. You know you're a Gen X when you get bifocals. Do you have bifocals? Yeah. No, well I don't. I'm holding off. <laughs> I have monovision where one oh, yeah. can see far away and one can see close. But my, every time my eye doctor comes I come in, he's like, John, bifocals. You should get them. Okay. That's a good one. Because millennials aren't getting bifocals. No. You know is that am I, I doing it? I like the it way right? you sing it. Yeah. <laughs> am I doing it right? Yeah. The you know you're a hillbilly when Yeah, you know you're a redneck when yeah, that's that. Jeff Foxworthy. Yeah, yeah. I did an uh, animation I produced an animation. Uh, pilot with him. No nice way. guy. Mm -hmm. oh. You know you're a millennial when you love avocado toast. Mm. You know you're a Gen Xer when you get an email about your FICA score and you stop and think, huh, should I check it? <laughs> What's FICA? Or not FICA. Is it FICA? Where's your credit score? Oh, you know, because oh, yeah. as a millennial, when I was young, I I could give a shit about that. Now, every oh, now and then I'll be know. like, huh, I wonder what mine is. <laughs> but then I don't check it because, you know, I don't want to know. You know, you're a millennial when you have used Tinder, Bumble or Hinge. Oh, uh, well, Hinge. I haven't heard of Hinge. It's the new one. Is that a hookup one? That no. sounds like a hookup one because I no. think the door opening and closing and uh, you just having sex and then you no. open and close. And That's later. just Tinder. Okay. You know you're a Gen Xer when you find yourself constantly hoping for death so that you can have a sweet nap, a dirt nap because you're <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> you kind of, you know, you're a Gen Xer when you kind of hope the doctor's going to tell you you have cancer. <laughs> Fast cancer, though, like pancreatic. Uh, and uh, you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part of this game. You're a millennial when you laugh when somebody says, my dog just died. Laughy face. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're a Gen Xer when somebody calls you sir. Oh God, I hate it. Ooh. Yes, sir. I don't want my 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 coffee barista yeah. to call me sir. Yeah. Don't do it, dude. Yeah. Life is so depressing. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe I should just come in and just do off myself on our podcast. That we would get. Can you imagine? We'd go viral. Viral. Yeah. Like if I just splattered blood all over your face. Don't do it, John. When you text it out, don't do the LOL crying face. Yeah. Whatever you do. Um, okay, so also remember avgearguy.com if you want to change any of your ex girlfriends. Yes. Into digital. Yeah, for your dad porn later in life. Yeah, and. Um, uh, mentioned Generation Gab at checkout. And that's it. Thank you guys so much. Like and share and comment and all the above. Yeah. Now, Chase, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, shoot. This weekend. Oh, I'm in Tampa at the Tampa Improv doing stand-up. Wait, this weekend? Yeah. Oh, I'm there next weekend. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought we were there the same weekend. No. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to Tampa the 22nd. Mm-hmm. 
uh, performing. Isn't yeah. that great? Isn't we're that so great? we're so adorable. Oh, I God, love that. we're so adorable. Tampa is in for a treat this weekend yeah. and next. <laughs> we're coming to town. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, this week uh, this weekend I'm helping to clean up the house because you know we're, we're selling the house and so we're moving, so I have to do. That's I have right. to. I, Jennifer wants me to get all the crap out of the attic. Wow. There's so much up there. Who knows what else you'll oh, find. Oh, you'll yeah. have to tell us next uh, I'll week. let you guys know. All right. Bye, you guys. Bye. Thanks so much. My generation.